Hey guys, it's Steve here from stevepigupmusic.com and today um, we're doing another book review. This uh, is a sp quite a special book to me in many ways um, because of who it's written by. Uh, this is a book called The Acoustic Guitar Bible. It's written by a man named Eric Roche, an acoustic guitar player. Now. Before I get into the book, uh, there's a story about Eric uh, Roche. I suppose you could say a kind of a personal connection I have to him in a way. Uh, when I um, I grew up on the Shetland Islands, in the very far north of uh, the UK, the most northerly place in the UK, very far north, and I used to um, one of the one of my kind of outlets from my obsession for guitar at that time when I was a teenager I used to practice all the time sometimes I still do practice all the time um, was a magazine uh, called Guitar Techniques and Eric Roche here was uh, he wrote the acoustic columns for that now Eric is not a lot of people know this or maybe they do he was one of the real pioneers of that physical tapping kind of style of acoustic guitar that you see particularly on YouTube so much these days, using the guitar as a sort of percussion instrument. He taught people like Newton Faulkner. Um, I believe he was a mentor, or at least certainly a close friend of Thomas Lieb. Um, and so he, um, he was very influential in that style, uh, developing that style. Um, I'll include a link to his website below and you can check him out if you want to know more. Anyway, I used to love and devour um, Eric's columns and there was actually a period of time where I was making um, I was you know making money and uh, we're not playing in, in bars in Scotland and um, pubs and things singing and playing fingerstyle acoustic arrangements which were straight from uh, Eric Roche uh, that he'd put in the guitar techniques pages. Now um, I decided, one of the main reasons I came down to London, um, it was to become a guitarist. The reason I went to where I went to uh, in London was because I wanted to study with Eric. He was the head of guitar at a place, and I wanted to study there with him. Uh, unfortunately, the summer before I got there, I arrived in September, the summer before I got there, um, Eric passed away from uh, cancer at a very young age and I remember being very um, sad about that and I was I was devastated really I, I came specifically really to study with this guy and um, by all accounts and I've heard a lot of stories about Eric he was a wonderful man and um, musically of course you know pioneer but certainly personally apparently he was a really fantastic guy and I feel uh, uh, it's one of my my real regrets, I suppose. Nothing I could have done, nothing anyone could have done. One of my regrets that I wasn't able to meet him and uh, hear him play and, and uh, you know, hang out with him and learn from him. But that's how these things go. Um, he left behind some albums and he left behind some books. And this one is the one I'm going to recommend for you today. It's called The Acoustic Guitar Bible. And it's huge. It's... It's pretty serious. Um, they cover everything from guitar construction, bracing, and uh, and all that sort of thing. And uh, uh, they, they talk about tuning guitar. They even talk about tendonitis and carpal tunnel syndrome. They talk about lots and lots of music theory. They talk about how to arrange um, songs for solo guitar, how to reharmonize melodies. They go into all, Eric, I should say, goes into all kinds of crazy details harp harmonics, percussion, um, um, chords, scales, connecting it all up. There are some uh, very beautiful pieces here. There's an arrangement of a handle tune. Um, there's, his <coughs> there's his song Roundabout in here as well, which is a really great uh, song, and, and, and a bunch of other Christmas tunes and all sorts of things at the end. Um, and there's all sorts of information about being a professional musician, about creativity, about equipment, performance, structuring a performance, stagecraft. I mean, this really has a lot in it. And it's not, I mean, if you're a beginner, you should definitely have this book in your library regardless, you know. But it definitely is pretty advanced in places. So it's enough to keep anyone interested and anyone 
occupied. Um, I defy many, well, I'm sure there are some people, but um, I mean, I still I still go back to this book t- time to time and I find new things. Um, it's Some of it is just the simplicity of how it's presented and um, the taste of the orchestrations and the taste, the arranging section in particular is, um, I think, worth the price of the book by itself. So anyway, it's the Acoustic Guitar Bible, guys. I recommend it by Eric Roche. Purchase it, um, buy it, and uh, it's really great. Anyway, uh, if you like this uh, video, please like and comment below. And if you want to see more, subscribe and you'll be updated by YouTube of all my videos that come. All right, thanks very much, guys. Bye-bye.